turn the light on. So as you can see, it's dark as hell. Um, those streets over there are very, very dark. There's no like lights, you know, in the cities where there's there's a lot of light where you can see on, on some of the streets. It's dark. It's very dark. So uh, let's do this. It is 6:28. Um, I don't know if we should wait a little longer, but I think this is plenty of time. Um, some, you know, some reporters reported, you know, it happened. You know, at 6.30, some reporters have, says it happened at 6.45. The cops did not get there till 7. Um, so, I mean, the sun doesn't come up till 7.30. So, still, you know what I'm saying? I'm just trying to, I'm just trying to prove a point here. That's it. Just trying to prove a point that, um, you know, there's no way this girl could have done it. I mean, there's no way. Um, on one of the reports, it says that um, she was, I guess, going into the house and John hugs her, I guess, grabs her, and then she grabs the knife, and I, I don't see her grabbing a damn big-ass knife, especially if it's in your throat. I don't see it. I just don't see it. Because the problem is, I'm going to tell you guys one, one thing. Why would she let that guy Austin beat the shit out of her? Until she turns purple, her face, but takes a knife out of John and stabs him. It doesn't make sense. This other guy, and they're about the same size as John and body size and everything. So she's going to let one guy beat the hell out of her. And then another guy, she's going to be He-Man and stab him. It, you know, it, it just doesn't make sense to me. It doesn't make sense at all. It doesn't. That's why I'm doing this. I'm just trying to prove a point. You know, simple. Simple point. And then, you know, the the uh, the uh, Northport police, you know how corrupt, it, corrupt they are. Because one of my friends, they killed a friend of his. And, you know, they did the same damn thing. You know, one day, the same day, close case, that's it. Oh, you know, this happened. Oh, okay, we believe you. Here we go. Close case. No, you know, they didn't wait for, for the autopsy. They didn't wait for nothing. That same day, it's closed. Done. What kind of car does she have? She has a blue beetle. This girl, Lily, said she had a black beetle. Black beetle. So it was her mom's and her mom gave it to Emily. So that tells you right there that the lady, if she, the lady couldn't even see the damn color of the car, how in the hell is she going to see it? You can see a car at dark. Yeah, anybody could do that. You know, it just doesn't make sense. So are you guys ready? Should we do this? Now, thanks a lot. Two of my friends, they said that, oh, yeah, man, we're going to go. One didn't answer his phone. The other one basically chickened out. So uh, I don't know what you guys are afraid of. I mean, you know, it's like not you're going to get arrested or nothing. You know what I'm saying? Anyways, correct. If she can't see color, she can't see them. That's my point. My whole point here that I'm trying to uh, uh, make today is that there is no way in hell this lady seen it. Especially as far as it, it, I'm going to show you guys. All right, let's do this. Let me, let me get this off of my hook right here. And let me switch the camera. And uh, let's go. Let's do this. Everybody thinks I'm, I'm crazy. But I'm not, you know, I'm just trying to pull a part right here. Somebody's lying. Especially when you know the, the people, you know, and they said John, John stalks her. She used to tell me that all the time. I say, well, if he stalks you, why in the hell are you sleeping with him? You know, why are you always sucking on this candy cane? When you come over to my house, like, you know, like, what the hell? If he's such a stalker, why are you letting him uh, take care of your daughter? Babysit your daughter. If he's such a stalker, does it make sense to you guys? No, it does not. If he was that bad of a, of a stalker or you name it, would not leave it, her alone, why in the hell... Was she sleeping with him? We have a lot of witness. A lot of our friends know. Because they seen them together. As a couple. But she would never claim it. I 
mean, the money was good because John was getting money from the documentary, so the money was damn excellent. So here we go. I'm going to show you guys where he collapsed as we're passing by. I'm going to go kind of slow. So see how dark this is? So here we go. And a friend of mine, her name is Alicia. She was also on the, she came in when I interviewed. Oh, he's a liar. Uh, you don't even, you didn't even know him, Alicia. For you didn't judge him that way. You didn't even know him like I did. What, you met him a couple of times and you're going to, you know, put your two, two cents like, you you know, you know him for, for, for years like I do? No. That really pissed me off. You could have said anything else but that. All right. So it's dark as hell. Can't even see the signs. So let's see. Okay, right here, right here in this intersection is where John. You can't even see it, but we're gonna have to come back, or I'm gonna walk. That's where John. This is the other street on my left, which you can't see because it's dark as hell. This is Coco. I'm gonna show you guys. This is Coco Street right here. I don't know. Damn, can you see it? You can barely see it. But Coco Street. So, let's do this. John walked this street that day, that morning. All right, guys. This is, this is the proof. The lady was standing right here where this mailbox at, is at. And this is the house. Can you guys see? Oh, my God. How can you guys see anything? There is nothing there. Look. You can barely see. Barely, barely see. Here's the church. See, you guys can't see nothing. It's so damn dark. So dark. I'm going to turn around. We're just proving the point here. You can't see nothing. It's kind of, it's real dark. It's dark street. So how in the hell, how is it possible that they seen John? All right? All these witnesses. Here's the church right here where you see that light. Okay, there is nothing. You can't see nothing. There's a car coming. You see that? See the house? Can you guys see the house? Can you guys see anything? You can barely see the, there's lights up there. You can barely see. And this is where, right here, right here, that's the lady. So how can this lady claim she's seen him when you can't? Nothing. So John runs there. He's running through this street. He goes here to this. This is the street. As you guys, damn, if I could get, uh, uh, see, you can't, you can't even see the damn street. Let me see if I, I can hold my high beams. But anyways, so John walks. And he's going through the sidewalk right here. Come on, my, my, high, my high beams. He's going through the sidewalk. And then he crosses the street. This is called Biscayne Street. Man, see, you can't even see it. This Biscayne Street. He goes down this sidewalk. See, everything's so dark here. So John goes down this sidewalk right here. There's a sidewalk. You guys can barely see it. It's so dark. And right here, where it says Cascade. Get my ass rolled over by a car. Now, you can't even see it. Uh, let's see. Uh, shoot. See, you can't even see it. Anyways, um, he collapsed here in the corner. Let me turn around. Let me turn around. See how all these houses and these houses are, you know, if you were, like, from here... You can't even see that house in front of you. You can't. You can't see much. That's my, you know, that's the point I was trying to make. That this lady is full of shit. She's lying. You know? That's, that's, that's why I woke up really, you know, woke up in the morning to prove this. Oh, I could turn around here. Huh. I'm just going to go. Let's see. Okay, here's, here's the street called. Oh, wait a minute. I have a flashlight right here. What am I doing? I'm retarded. See the street right here? It says, uh, Coco. Coco Solo. That's what Emily 
lives. So, let's go back the way I came. And this is what I'm getting at. It was impossible. So I might just park my car and walk. Walk. I think you guys probably, you guys want me to do that? You guys want me to get out of my car and walk? I'll do it. I'm crazy enough to do it. I got to get out of the goddamn, uh, I don't know, town. I got to park some land. Would you guys like me to walk? guys look I got my flashlight I'm walking where John collapsed and this is the corner where John collapsed I'm gonna show you guys this is Biscayne and Carasa Street all right so John was coming down this sidewalk right here and he was going and he collapsed right there, right here. That's where John collapsed. So this is where John was walking that day. He was getting away from somebody. I can't see any blood or anything like that. I'm trying. This is... uh. This is the sidewalk where John took his last footsteps. So if I'm walking my dog, and this is Coco, this is Coco and Biscay. This is the street where Emily lives. So John comes this way. He's, he comes on this sidewalk, that's where he's walking, and I'm going up to Emily's house, yeah, I'm fucking nuts, I'm gonna take my flashlight off, come on, so here we go, so I'm walking my dog, Minding my own business on this side. See, this is where this is Emily's house. Look, look, guys, it is pitch black. You cannot see anything here. This is the point I'm trying to prove. If this lady was here with the dog, there is no way, no way in hell, she's seen Emily do that. Because I can't see jack shit. I can't even see right in front of the door if there if, if there's anybody there. This is the point. John runs. From that area, the house, he runs through here and runs. He is running. And he's running this way. Holding his belly, I would assume. Scared. In pain. Thinking that where here's the blood. Here is the actual blood of John, as you can see. I am right for my investigation. Look at the blood stains right here. There's more blood. Look right here. There's John's blood. Look. Look. This is John's Lewick's blood. Coming from that house. So John is scared. 
until he has to come this way. Let's see if we find any more blood stains. I don't think we're going to find them here. He crosses over according to the blood stains. Let's see if we see any more blood here. We can find anything. I'm looking. So we're taking the step, John's last footsteps. Last footsteps. Till John Lewitt collapses and passes out. We're going down the sidewalk. Again, you can't see a damn thing. So that lady is goddamn lying. I don't know if you guys agree with me or not, but that lady is totally lying. She's, she was blowing smoke out of everybody's ass. And Northport police is just going to go ahead and take it and, you know, and agree. See, I cannot find any more blood stains. I'm trying. So, he comes this way. And here... On Casada Street, I can't find, if I can find, he collapses in the center divider. And I'm going, I'm not going to get my ass around over. Um, I can't find any blood, but John Lewick right here collapses, right here where I'm at. That's where the cops came and the ambulance picked him up. So there you got it, folks. There you got it. We've seen the trail of blood, and this is where John, it was his last footsteps on this street right here. Fucking hurt. Cas Casada Street and Biscayne. That's where he was at. So, now you guys, I want you guys to give me your point of view. What do you guys think? You guys seen what I'm seeing? And it's cold as hell. Went back to my car. So you guys tell me, what do you guys think? Am I right? Did I prove my point? I mean, you guys tell me. You know?